John chapter 15 I am the true grape vine and my father is the gardener he cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit so they will produce even more you have already been pruned and purified by the message i have given you remain in me and i will remain in you for a branch cannot produce fruit if it is severed from the vine and you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me yes i am the vine you are the branches those who remain in me and i in them will produce much fruit for apart from me you can do nothing anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned but if you remain in me and my words remain in you you may ask for anything you want and it will be granted when you produce much fruit you are my true disciples this brings great glory to my father i have loved you even as the father has loved me remain in my love when you obey my commandments you remain in my love just as i obey my father's commandments and remain in his love i have told you these things so that you will be filled with my joy yes your joy will overflow this is my commandment love each other in the same way i have loved you there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends you are my friends if you do what i command i no longer call you slaves because a master doesn't confide in his slaves now you are my friends since i have told you everything the father told me you didn't choose me i chose you i appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the father will give you whatever you ask for using my name this is my command love each other if the world hates you remember that it hated me first the world would love you as one of its own if you belong to it but you are no longer part of the world i chose you to come out of the world so it hates you do you remember what i told you a slave is not greater than the master since they persecuted me naturally they will persecute you and if they had listened to me they would listen to you they will do all this to you because of me for they have rejected the one who sent me they would not be guilty if i had not come and spoken to them but now they have no excuse for their sin anyone who hates me also hates my father if i hadn't done such miraculous signs among them that no one else could do they would not be guilty but as it is they have seen everything i did yet they still hate me and my father this fulfills what is written in their scriptures they hated me without cause but i will send you the advocate the spirit of truth he will come to you from the father and will testify all about me and you must also testify about me because you have been with me from the beginning of my ministry